Hey there, welcome to No Noodle Disc Golf. Today I'm going to review flips in a disc for you. I'm one of, one of the first ones to get my hands on a stock one for you because I won it in a tournament yesterday. So why not make a video on it? I'm going to compare it to a beaten destroyer and an, an overstable destroyer, a nuke, a legenda, and an astronaut. This is my first video ever, so bear with me if, if the quality isn't what it's supposed to be. But if you like it, I'm gonna keep going and get better. I forgot everything about warm up today and just started throwing. I would not recommend that. The disc is a bit hard to see, but it flew way more understable than I thought it would. There's a small tailwind with about 7 miles an hour. Therefore, it didn't flip up as much as I thought it would. If you don't know the Legenda, it's a very overstable distance driver. I think it's 13 speed, 4 glide, 1 turn and 4 fade. So the timing of my throws and the run up isn't that great because I sprained my ankle a week ago. But I just thought I had to get these shirts out so you could see them before you, you got your own. So normally I use these discs as the, the red destroyer as my go-to distance driver, my blue destroyer as my overstable distance driver, my nuke as my straight distance driver, it's a bit more control than that, and then my astronaut I use for roller shots. But when I saw how understable the barium was, I thought it, it reminded me the most about the astronaut. Now I'm throwing into a headwind. I was so surprised by this, so I just stood there and looking after it because I couldn't believe my eyes. When you throw the rounded rim, it's very hard to go from that to a normal rim. Because then you just either early release or grip lock. All the th throws I made Today I have put in this video to make it fair for all discs. If I early release or if I grip lock, it's just in the video because it shows how hard it is to go from a rounded rim to a normal rim. I think that's one of the biggest problems. It's actually not the disc itself, just you would have to have all the discs rounded or all the discs normal. I think the Borean reminds me of the astronaut because of the way they handle headwinds. Both of them just flip over and roll. Now it's tailwind again. I feel like when you throw the Borean, it's the snap is very hard to get because the last finger that leaves the disc just doesn't sit in the rim as as long as it does in a destroyer or a, in your other normal disc. I'm very sorry for the bad camera angles but yeah I'm gonna try to do better next time I just uh, don't have that much much experience filming. <laughs> Apparently I should switch to the uh, astronaut as my go-to distance driver. It, uh, it goes to the fast, farthest, as you can see, the full flight on this one. Now with the Borium, I really tried to put it on a steep angle because I wanted to have a full flight, but even though I put it on this angle, it, it gets up and it gets over and it rolls again.
even though the camera angle is trash once again it still makes sense to show these videos because it shows that some of the discs don't flip over as much as the um, the barium This was on pace to go, I don't know, 150, but then hit the goal. It was like the perfect angle for the astronaut to roll. But I'm gonna keep it in, because, yeah, I keep all, all the shots in. This is the uh, the tailwind again, and even though I release it at a uh, heiser, as you can see here, it's, it still flips over and burns out, which... I don't think it's supposed to do. But I have slow slowed this one down too, because as you can see, I have this is less high, and it still doesn't flip over. And that's what I think a a distance driver should do. Just about that. I mean, not not the distance I was looking for, of course, but it uh, it didn't flip over. I feel like I grip locked way more today than I am used to, and I think that's that's because of the uh, the barium. I I'm used to uh, getting used to the rim is rounded and then getting released a bit earlier. And now the last run in the headwind. Now once again you can see the very very steep heiser and still flips over and burns out. I don't. I don't think a distance driver should do that, but um, especially not when when I haven't had time to beat it in. I think it should start more overstable, and then as I play with it, it it gets more understable. But I must say, I like the plastic way more than I thought I would. It's really good, and it feels like a bit gummy. You can bend a bit, but it's not too much. On this next shot, you can see the astronaut. It it's a, almost the same amount of height, and it just flips all the way over to a roller instead of burning out. But I mean, that's not the difference between a minus four and a minus one, in my opinion. There you have it, the burn. All in all, I think I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be my go-to distance driver from now on, and then. Maybe it, it, I thought I needed to beat it in first, but it's already so unstable that, that I can't throw it at least. Um, it's probably good for many of you guys. Uh, I, I think I throw a lot harder than, than what's normal because uh, of my long arms. and It's easy for me to get to the speed in. Uh, also, my technique is maybe not as good as many of you guys' because yeah, that's a bit of flutter in my shot that makes the disc more unstable. So, I think I'm going to try forehand soon and see uh, how that goes. Maybe uh, maybe I can use it there to clean and release because of the uh, rounded, rounded rim. But that's going to be the next video. I would say in general, I, I really, really like the company's lift, uh, the mission to make some discs that are unique and like push the limit of the sport, all the uh, the regulation to the to the edge to see how how wild discs can get. Uh, I really like that idea, but this one I'm not sure it's gonna be. Maybe um, maybe it will be eventually when I when I have gotten some more throws in with it, but. Right now, I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of this. Thank you so much for watching, if you have seen this far. It's way harder to make this video. I think I've used 10 hours today on this. So I have had 
I've got way, way more respect for people making YouTube videos now than I had before. It's uh, a lot of work, so I would really, really, really appreciate if you would uh, like the video or just put a comment, something, just some interaction with me. That's that would be cool. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon with the following video coming up next. See you.